In this video, we'll explore adding text to our design and changing the formatting using Typekit fonts and other type properties. You'll also see how to add layer style effects to your design content. Let's get started by adding some text. Make sure the sun layer is selected in the Layers panel, and then select the Horizontal Type tool in the Tools panel. In the Options bar, click the Font Size menu and choose 72 point. Click in the design and type THE in capital letters. Click the check mark in the options bar to commit the text. Notice that a new layer was created in the Layers panel, automatically named THE. Type layers are similar to other layers, although they are vector-based, which means they can be scaled and edited without losing quality. Now we'll change the appearance of the text. With both the Type layer and the Horizontal Type tool still selected, go up to the options bar where you can make some changes. Click the Color field to open the Color Picker. I'll click on White and click OK. Click the arrow to the right of the Font Family field. Hover over any of the fonts in the menu that appears to preview how those fonts will look on your text. You could choose a font from your computer, or as a Creative Cloud subscriber, you have access to the Typekit library of fonts. You can select fonts from the Typekit library by clicking the Add Fonts from Typekit button here. After clicking the button, the Typekit.com website should open in your default browser, and you should be signed in with your Adobe ID. Make sure that the Sync option is selected, that way the font will be synced to your machine. Come to the Search field and type F-A-C-T. We'll use the font Factoria in this project. Click on the name Factoria. Click Use Fonts over here. Click Show All Fonts to see the entire listing. Select Light to add it to the font styles chosen by default. Scroll down if you need and click Sync Selected Fonts. And then click Launch the Creative Cloud application where you can check to make sure that the font has synced with your computer. Go back over to Photoshop and make sure the Type layer and the Horizontal Type tool are still selected. You can pick the Factoria font by starting to type the name here. When you see Factoria Light in the list, click to apply it. If you don't have access to Typekit, you can select another font. Change the font size to 32 by typing it in here and pressing Enter or Return. To move the text where we want it in our design, select the Move tool, come out to the text, drag it, and the Magenta Smart Guides will help you align it to center. Now we'll add some more text. Select the Horizontal Type tool in the Tools panel. Click in your design, away from the word THE, to add some more text. Type Great American West. Click the check mark in the options bar to commit the text. Change the font to Factoria Bold. You can start typing the name up here and then choose it or whatever font you have. Change the font size to 62 by typing it in and pressing Enter or Return. Make sure that the color is still white. Select the Move tool and drag the text into the center of the design using Smart Guides. To add some pop to our text, we're going to add some layer styles to it. Layer styles are a great way to add effects like drop shadows, strokes, bevels, and much more to layer content that's surrounded by transparency. With the Great American West type layer selected, click the Add a Layer Style button at the bottom of the Layers panel and choose Drop Shadow. In the Layer Style dialog box that opens, you can adjust the shadow as much as you need, editing properties like transparency, distance, and much more. Change the settings to match what you see here. Look on the left side of the Layer Styles dialog box and you'll see more effects we could apply. Select the Stroke option to apply it to the text. Then click the word Stroke to edit the settings. Once again, change a few of the options to match what you see here and then click OK. You should now see the effects on the text as well as listed in the Layers panel. You can always edit them later on by double clicking an effect to reopen the Layer Style dialog box. There are so many different types of effects we could use to get our design just the way we want it. Filter effects like creative blurs, 3D elements, image warps, and more. All of these allow you to take your design further the more proficient you become in Photoshop.